Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and this is the Mom Logs. So today I am in my car outside of the wonderful Walmart. And this is where I'm going to be doing my grocery shopping this week. So I am going to run through my meal plan for my family of four for this week. That way you can get some meal ideas and then I will show you everything that I get from the grocery store as soon as I get back home. So just quickly for breakfast this week, me and my husband, are we're gonna do overnight oats and um, he has egg sandwiches on the menu. I think that he's got some eggs and I have some grapefruit that need to be eaten. And then for lunches, I think I'm gonna make chicken salad, not my traditional um, apple cranberry or cranberry apple chicken salad, but I think I'm just gonna go for like a more savory chicken salad instead of the sweet. So that is breakfast and lunches. And then the first dinner that I have is, uh, it's like a cream, like an everything but the bagel, cream cheese, chicken. You use the everything but the bagel seasoning and then you make like a scallion cream cheese sauce. It's so good. I think it's technically a keto recipe, but I'll use like the low fat cream cheese and do that, uh, make the sauce with that instead. I'll leave the recipe linked down below. I found it on Pinterest. If you're interested in making it, it is so good. Like it, we made it one time and it seriously tasted like something that you would get from a restaurant. I'm going to serve that with air fried red skin potatoes and vegetables. I have white chicken chili on the list. This is a recipe from the Skinniest Dish. I can leave it linked below as well. And next on the list is um, just chicken stir fry. Um, I usually just use... There's always somebody walking around outside my car making me feel really awkward for talking to my camera. Um, the G. Hughes sugar-free teriyaki sauce is the stir-fry sauce, and then I'll just make some white rice in my rice cooker and just do some stir-fry vegetables. I already have the stir-fry vegetables. I just get the Great Value Broccoli Stir-Fry. Um, let's see, barbecue shake and bake. Molly from Classically Molly. Um, made me think about this because she was like so excited to make shake and bake chicken from um, my last meal plan um, and then I was like you know what that barbecue one is really good too so it's more of like a glaze and not like a um, like a breadcrumb mixture so I always just make it in the air fryer and the chicken gets nice and crispy and like glazy from the um, barbecue shake and bake and then I'm also going to do vegetables with that and either mashed potatoes or more air fry um, red skin potatoes. I'll probably just do mashed potatoes. I don't have enough room in my air fryer for um, the to do the chicken and potatoes at the same time. So I'll probably just end up doing mashed potatoes and I always just take the easy way out and do like the Idahoan mashed potatoes that you make with butter and milk. I don't, it's just so easy instead of like boiling potatoes and mashing them. Next on the list is taco pizza. I have made this before, but I just bake my two ingredient dough crust separate. And then once that comes out of the oven, I just use refried beans as the sauce and um, just do like lettuce, cheese, tomato, just whatever toppings you want, olives if you like that. And then I always use the Morningstar Grillers Crumbles um, as like the meat, but you could do like shredded chicken or ground beef or ground turkey, whatever you want. Um, on Saturday, we are having my um, um, in-laws over and like my husband's whole family over for my mother-in-law's birthday celebration. So I found a recipe, um, for like, it's kind of like the lazy mom's version of lasagna. You just make it with ziti noodles. You still do like ricotta mozzarella, but you just like mix it all together with some spinach and I was gonna do it with a meat sauce. And then I'll do garlic bread and a salad. And then the last meal on the list is buffalo chicken bake. I've done this one before too a million times. It's one of my husband's favorites. Like whenever I ask, what do you want to put on the menu? It's either burgers, tacos, or buffalo chicken bake. So you just do um, like uh, chicken in the air fryer. You put a little bit of 
breadcrumbs over top of it and some um, like mild buffalo wing sauce and then once it's almost done you just put cheese on and then put it back in and let it melt and like I said I always do mine in the air fryer it comes out nice and crispy and then I serve it with celery ranch dressing and this time I think I'm, I'll do more of those Idaho and mashed potatoes so that is my meal plan for the week these people just got in their truck next to me staring at me I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off now and stop feeling so awkward and go grocery shopping. I'll see you when I get back home. So starting with produce, I got some fruit for breakfast and for snacking, blueberries, these carnival seedless grapes. I'm assuming that these are like those cotton candy ones, like the super sweet ones, and then um, raspberries. I got a red onion just to have on hand. Maybe I'll use them for like taco pizza or whatnot. And then green onions. I like to top that white chicken chili with green onions and for that um, everything, um, everything bagel seasoning chicken. I need that for that as well. Um, I have a bunch of bananas. I got a spaghetti squash just to keep in our fruit bowl. This just makes for a really easy weeknight meal. Um, with some spaghetti sauce and um, whatever else I have on hand and a quick salad. I got some shredded iceberg lettuce. Um, this is for taco pizza. This is just, I got the packed ones just for convenience purposes. Over to like canned and bottled stuff, I got a big plastic jar of unsweetened applesauce. I got the Hunt's pasta sauce. This is the tomato basil one. If, if you saw my budget meal video, I tried this canned sauce for the first time and it was so good. So this is the one that they had this time. I think last time I got the garlic and herb one. I got fruit cocktail in juice. This is for the kids. The um, I was watching one of Mindy over at See Mindy Mom's videos and she did the fruit cocktail in Jello, and I have some of the Aldi brand strawberry Jello, and I thought that the kids would like to put the fruit in the Jello just like Mindy did just for something different to switch it up. I got two cans of Great Northern Beans and a can of the Mild Dice Green Chilies and that is for that white chicken chili. I just needed some more sugar-free maple syrup. Sometimes on the weekends we'll do pancakes and this is what I like to put on mine and I really like the Maple Grove Farms one. I got fat-free refried beans for the taco pizza to use as like the sauce in the pizza. This is for the buffalo chicken bake, just mild wing sauce. This one is really, really good. Not too spicy, just the right amount of kick if you're looking for a wing sauce. The generic brand of, this is like the Lowry's seasoned salt, just the bigger one for less money, so I got the generic. This is for my husband, just to keep at his desk for snacking, sorry. Um, dairy stuff, I got fat-free um, cheddar cheese. This is just for me, just to put on my white chicken chili, and then everybody else, I'll shred up some Colby Jack. And the uh, this is just because I, I was thinking that I needed some more for that um, baked ziti dish that I was gonna make for my mother-in-law's birthday. I got an extra thing of unsweetened almond milk and just a, reg a regular thing of the, um, this is just 2% reduced fat milk. That's for like mac and cheese and um, those uh, mashed potatoes, the instant ones. Uh, light sour cream for topping on our white chicken chili. My older son really wanted to do Halloween cookies, so I have a cookie sugar cookie recipe that calls for margarine instead of butter, so I got that. This is for breakfast for the kiddos. It is the uh, vanilla Oikos triple zero. And then I just got a plain non-fat Greek yogurt for our pizza crust. Just uh, another Bolt House Ranch, and I needed this for um, just a lower calorie option for that buffalo chicken bake. I saw this fun seasonal flavor of the Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. It is, I don't know, it's got a piece of pumpkin pie on it. Oh yeah, pumpkin pie. So I got a couple of those. I picked up some more of the Land Lakes butter. I could use this for those sugar cookies, but this is so much easier to measure. So I always just buy the four pack 
and then we'll we use it here and there. And let's see, I wanted some nice Parmesan cheese for our Italian night with family, and then this is also for that ZD dish. I made a vow to myself that I wasn't going to eat any of my kids' Halloween candy, so I just like to have a lower calorie option on hand, even though it says it's not a low calorie food. If you're on WW or Weight Watchers, these are one point for one piece. And I just know that in my head. So this is like, if I'm like really craving something and I find myself reaching for the candy bucket, I just grab one of these instead. Last year I gained too much weight eating their Halloween candy. So we're learning from our past experiences. This is for my younger son, I will say, no more. This is for white chicken chili, just low sodium chicken broth. And then this is just for quick, easy breakfast. It is just the generic great value brand of Nutrigrain bars, the mixed berry flavor. My son is having to take a sealed snack in for school and I don't usually buy that kind of stuff. So I just needed to get another pack of something for him to take in for himself for school, for snack time. These are little shortbread cookies, but they're shaped like the Avengers. I got this for myself for lunch today just because I knew I would be out shopping while everybody else was eating lunch. It's just a chicken Caesar salad. Here's the facts. This was just like up by the produce. Here's the um, instant mashed potatoes that I always buy, the Idahoan. This is the only sugar-free Jello pudding mix that I could find. It's a chocolate one, and that is for overnight oats. I got two one-pound boxes of ziti for that Italian night with family. I just picked up four more boxes of Kraft mac and cheese, just a quick, easy lunch for the kiddos. And this is that barbecue shake and bake, the glaze one, it's really good. Let me see here. For an eighth of the packet or 11 grams, it's 40 calories. And sometimes if I'm like trying to cut down on calories, I'll just do one side of the chicken breast and then throw it in the air fryer and just leave the underside plain and you can't even tell the difference. I always like to keep these, the Quaker lightly salted rice cakes on hand. I've mentioned this before, but I've been having a really hard time finding them. So when I do see them, I pick up two. I am like starved for breakfast ideas for my younger son. So if he doesn't want those mixed berry and Nutrigrain bars, I got him this sun-made brand of the cinnamon raisin bread. So I don't know. He just gets tired of eating the same thing over and over again, as most of us do. I picked up two more loaves of this butter bread. It's so delicious. Uh, my husband ended up really liking it too, so I figured I would just get two loaves. For frozen stuff, I got two bags of the California style vegetable mix, and these are in the steamable bags, which just makes it so easy for me when I'm trying to get dinner on the table in the evening. And my kids like this one too. Um, this is for that white chicken chili. I got a big, huge loaf of garlic bread for Italian night with fam. And uh, Mrs. T's pierogies. These are for the kids whenever I just need something quick for dinner. If they're not into what me and my husband are having for dinner, I just like to have an option on hand. I do like to expose them to new foods, but this is like a, one of those things that's like a safe food for them. And this as well, just the Gorton's brand of fish sticks. And you can, we have put these in the toaster oven and just cook them up for them. This is two pounds of, I think I just picked up the 8515 ground beef. This is for um, Italian night. And I don't usually buy this. I don't usually get ground beef, but it's a special occasion and his family likes beef. Um, uh, and then I can, I want to insert a picture of like the, um, like the low calorie ice cream section at my Walmart. This is like the kind of thing that I have been dealing with since the whole pandemic thing started, but I just ended up getting the Yasso bars, which I've never bought before, but I figured I would give them a try. I just really wanted like a healthier sweet treat, um, available to me this week, especially with all of the Halloween candy that's gonna be floating around. So long story short, I couldn't get my Halo top because it was all gone, so yeah. And then for non-food stuff, 
Um, I know that some of you like to see what I picked up. So my son is only going to preschool two days instead of three this year, just because of everything that's been going on. So I mentioned this in my last day in the life video, but I have been trying to supplement his learning with some things at home. So I picked up the phonics, ABC mouse workbook, and the games workbook. So there's just like all sorts of stuff in here. It says games, but of course it's all learning stuff. And then this is um, like the first letter recognition one and it's for ages three to five. And there's like letters, like learning letters and stuff, which is what they're working on at school. So I figured whatever letter they're working on that week at school, we could just pick a page out to do for that third day of learning. And then to make it more exciting, I just got him a pack of pencils in fun colors so he can pick what color he wants. Um, we have fabric masks, but these are just really nice to have um, in your car because I don't know about anyone else, but sometimes I forget my mask. So I just got me and my husband um, two packs just to keep in our cars in case we run out of the house without one. And then I just needed some super glue because uh, my kids love to destroy their toys and I have to do toy repair duty at least once a day. This is for um, a bottle of wine for my mother-in-law for her birthday. And then I got two pairs of shoes. These are the ones that I went for. They're like these, they have like this cushion, like tufted stitching in them. And these I saw and loved and figured that they would look really cute with like jeans cuffed. And they were more on the casual side. So I got those as well. They're like a taupey suede color with like punch holes in them and then two functioning zippers on each side. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I picked up from the store today for our week and next weekend. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to see more from me in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye!